Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. In the last video, we uh, fetch the doctor details from the Firebase and we display in the doctor details space. Now, uh, as you, if you already follow my video, then you know that I didn't create, I didn't design the UI of our doctor page. But now, if you see, I designed a doctor <coughs> a doctor details space here. I designed it. I will share the code to you in my GitHub link. Okay, uh, from that link, you you can get the UI. UI code from that link so this is the UI I already designed it uh, in the previous video we check the location when you click on the location it will go to it will go to the Google map taking the uh, latitude and longitude right uh, in this video uh, basically we are going we are going to see two things we are going to book the uh, appointment uh, for the doctor and we are going to see uh, uh, add the call functionality using the URL launcher that if you remember URL launcher is used for location also to parse the location link uh, similarly to parse the call uh, because it is a uh, in Android it is a intent but here we are going to launch the URL okay so uh, in this video we are going to see uh, call functionality and booking functionality right uh, first of all uh, let's add the call functionality so in the call functionality uh, basically we are going to use the already mentioned we are going to use the URL launcher okay let's get started okay uh, and okay if you see the UI uh, this is the this is the call icon so I think this is yeah this is the call icon right so this is the call icon here we are going to add the phone call functionality right uh, let's get on function to uh, call the uh, method it will be make uh, phone call okay so here we need to pass the doctor phone number correct uh, doctor dot phone number so in this phone number user going to call so the void function and it will be a make let's create from here only alt enter create the method if you see here cut it from here and paste it here okay first of all it will be asynchronous function is asynchronous method so final uh, URI uh, it will be phone URI and URI we need to pass the URI so here one schema schema will be telephone as we are going to call that's why and part will be uh, phone number phone number that we are uh, getting from the doctor I think uh, let's copy from here let's copy from here and paste it here here we need to change phone you sorry phone URI dot to string to string similarly here phone URI dot to string uh, here could not uh, launch could not make a call on on this number okay let's control save and let's check whether it will work or not okay hot reload is done so let's click on it okay yeah uh, phone functionality is working fine from here we can select from here this is the phone number and for from here you can call it i don't have the sim in, in this phone so that's why i am not going to call uh, i'm not able to call it so from here if you have the sim uh, inserted then you can call it right so phone functionality is working fine now let's go and uh, create the booking function for the doctor okay mm, I already created the uh, request database as you see request database reference file here I already created the reference file uh, also one more thing uh, we need uh, we need uh, firebase auth firebase auth and auth uh, it will be 
firebase dot dot instance that's it we need auth because we need to for booking we need two things right uh first of all we need the receiver and sender id because uh in receiver we need to pass the doctor id and in the sender we need to pass the current user id suppose i am login so sender will be my id and suppose i want to uh, book an appointment for doctor xyz so doctor xyz id will be the receiver id so we need to pa pass this these two things and also we need to pass one id the request id to identify that request uh, for that i need one request id i need date obviously i need description i need uh, time also also i need one status status means suppose uh, if you are create on request for that purpose uh, first things default it will be pending pending status if doctor accept it then will be a, it will be a uh, sense to suppose accept and doctor al already uh, clear you right uh, i mean already he has uh, done the appointment he have done the appointment and he check the patient then status will be sent to uh, completed okay like that and if suppose doctor doctor don't want to accept the uh, booking uh, then it will be rejected that kind of status we are going to pass okay so now uh, let's create the function for it okay uh let's create it uh, uh let's appointment so it will be void uh book appointment so if i have select oh sorry i have selected date right selected date is not equal to null if user is selected selected date and uh selected time is not equal null and uh description controller dot text dot is not empty then only you have user going to book an appointment right because if user select all these strings then only he can able to uh book an appointment if in, if if he is not uh, selected anything if he is not uh select anything then uh, it will uh show a message on snack bar okay uh scaffold manager dot off context dot show snake bar and here we need to pass the snake bar content in content we are going to pass one text that uh select uh, a uh, selected date and time also add a description for booking for appointment you can change it according to your need okay uh, for that uh, for now uh, i add these things okay mm, now uh, what i said we need uh, we need five no six things <coughs> we need date we need time we need description we need description we need request id we need receiver id sender id and status right we need these things so let's get these things uh, string date uh, date format it will be mm bd uh, y y y okay this is the date will be date format and format will be uh, selected date okay we need six things right so this will be time uh selected time dot format uh, it will be context that's it for the time and this will be description uh description will be description controller dot text that's it and that will be a request id uh request id will be request database dot push dot key so it will be a unique key it will create a unique key for the request id it will be now oh sorry it will be null check unique data null check also okay so current uh current user id for current user id what we are going to need we are going to uh, use the auth firebase auth dot uh current user 
dot uid okay so current user id is done uh, request id is done sender uh, receiver id we need a receiver id right Yeah, we need one receiver ID also. Receiver ID and the receiver ID will be doctor dot doctor UID. This will be a receiver. And sender is the current user ID and one thing will be what uh, status okay for now status will be pending now we need to save these things we need to save the appointment right we get the data now we need to save the appointment for that request database dot child here we need to pass the request id oh sorry request id because it will be uniquely identified for that we are going to add the request id so set here i need to pass the date date will be date mm. uh, time time will be time one is description description will be description one is id id will be request id uh, receiver uh, receiver will be receiver id one will be sender sender will be current u current user id one is status status will be status uh, yeah i think we need these things only only seven things we need yeah we need these seven things now uh, after that then such that we need to clear the all all fields after booking we need to clear the all field okay so selected date will be null selected time will be null selected time will be null description will be description dot clear okay now here i need to add one message also after booking appointment is success if appointment is successfully booked then we need to pass one we need to show a, a message to the user that uh, appointment book successfully right now after that if there is any kind of error occur okay catch error we need to also check the error also if there any kind of error is happen then we need to show one message fail to book appointment fail to book your appointment try again later <coughs> okay <coughs> okay i think uh, i think my method is ready uh, now let check so I need to pass this when we click the book appointment. Okay, sorry. So here, book appointment. So let's open our file also here. Uh, request our database will be created as. Let's check our database will be created as request. Okay. Now let's control S to save it. Now let's. First of all, let's try to book without uh, uh, giving the select date or select time. Okay, let's run it first. <coughs> so 
first of all let's book an appointment okay if you see selected date and time also add a description for appointment our uh, error, error, error message is showing perfectly now let's select a date suppose i book an appointment for 25 date is showing here uh, suppose i select a time suppose 11 am 11 uh, yeah 11 am okay time is showing here uh, let's add a description here uh, hello sir i have an i have a problem i have a problem with my suppose i have a problem with my tumor okay suppose i have a problem i have i have a tumor in my left hand for that i need one appointment to check it through you uh, just just a, just a description here okay mm, that is not like now let's book the appointment okay select the date and time as of appointment why it is not already selected right so i think it should go but here it is not going let's check it why it is showing okay i think the problem is simple here if you see description controller in my text field in my text field which is a description here i am not set i am not setting the controller here so that's why it is not getting what type of like it is it is description controller is for now this is null because i am not setting the controller in the text field so that's why it is showing the error let's auto reload it now let's perform it let's add the description for now i use the abcd as a description let's book an appointment if you see appointment book successfully if you see here appointment book successfully and it is uh, and it is cleared all field also now go to our uh, database now here if you see this is the request and this is one request this is the unique uh, request id if you see here this is the id id means this is the request id if you see this is the receiver id and this is the sender so receiver is so uh, if i go to my um, patient this is the patient id right this is the patient id so it is the sender if you see this is the id patient id and this is the sender and receiver is rda so if you go to the doctors if you see this is the id so this is the doctor id so this is the receiver so in the receiver this is the doctor id so it is uh, now it is status is pending if you see status is pending also so uh, i think my booking is done successfully uh, in the next video we are going to check for the chat features right if you see here this is one chat icon is also there so in the chat button click we are going to navigate user to a chatting page where user can chat with the doctor also right uh, in the next video we are going to create the ui and after that video we are going to add the functionality oh, sorry in the next video we are going to create the functionality first then we are going to create the ui okay uh, for that is for this video uh, we are uh, in the next video we are going to create the chat so see you on the next video thank you